Uh, Chuck and Judy, you have to be very disturbed by this interview that Steve gave to ABC. What are your reactions when you hear this? And do you believe that Steve Powell had something to do with Susan's disappearance? I think his telling words is in his mind there was that, that he thinks Susan liked him. Like him. That's, nothing could be further from the truth. As she, she explained to us, they actually moved to Utah to get away from Steve. And I think it's disturbing that his mind is that way. Um, does he have anything to do with her disappearance? I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I haven't pointed the finger at Steve or Josh. I let the police do the police work. But it is very disturbing. Uh, Chuck, do you, do you think that perhaps Steve saying that he had sexual, uh, um, not relations, but sexual interactions with Susan, do you think that's in an effort to possibly bolster Josh's alibi about how Susan abandoned the family, perhaps running off with another man? Yeah, well, it's clearly meant to, to try and uh, assassinate my daughter's character, and it's an attack on her. And uh, Josh really has no alibi. Uh, his this claim that he, evidently Steve and Josh had come up with that she ran off with somebody uh, has been investigated and discounted by the police. She didn't take off with the Stephen Corcher, and she did not leave with anybody. The police have said that, and I'm very relieved to hear them say that that they have investigated it, and there's no truth to that whatsoever. So the only two people in in the world that I've heard that have anything negative say about my daughter is, is Stephen Powell who comes up with this, this uh, attacks and Josh Powell, the person of interest.